I originally started bowling when I was seven from a uh, kids bowl free league and my dad took me and then from there it kind of just took off with um, bowling, traveling, we got into more leagues and then I guess it was just history from there. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but I am online. I go through Penridge, but I have the online option. Um, I did that for three years of high school, and it's probably the best decision for me wise because I travel so much. So a travel weekend for me is like, I practice Monday through Friday, and high school bowling also is like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we have those in there plus the practice, and then the travels on the weekend. So I always leave normally Friday, to Monday probably and balancing school and life and friends and bowling is a it's pretty hard I, I'm not gonna like it's hard to do but it is probably the best thing I could ever do right when I am going up I normally tell myself to be very calm especially if it's like big tournaments or national events when I need to make that shot to win I always line myself up I tell myself you can do it I get ready and then I throw the shot gained from Penridge Bowling these last four years probably are some of my best friends I could ever ask for. I mean, two girls in freshman year took a chance on me and the program to just bowl. Like, they never bowled before and they probably would have never tried it if, I mean, they didn't come out and try for bowling. But these two girls, Caitlin and Megan Smith, they both took a chance on me in freshman year and they decided that they loved it the next four years and I could have not been more proud. But from there, we grew our program, which, I mean, we had nine girls this year, which is amazing for Penridge Bowling. And I think we had like 17 guys, which is an amazing turnout. I know it sounds little, but when it comes to bowling, that's huge. Um, I Literally, it's mind boggling. Um, so I think one of the biggest misconceptions is everyone thinks it's so easy. This sport is so difficult. And I think if you talk to any bowlers, they will tell you how difficult this sport is. There's so much that goes into it. It's not just like go out with your friends type of sport and people don't think it's a sport <laughs> anyway. They think it's an activity. So it's, it's so diff it like, like the golf club analogy, right? Everyone has so many different golf clubs. They do different things. Like that comes with bowling balls. You have different patterns, stuff like that. Like, I just think that's like the biggest thing for me. <laughs> and like the, everyone thinks it's an activity, which is not. <laughs> so like a puzzle you have to solve right you have to think what ball would work the best on this pattern or what 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 can I do to be the best on this pattern today so I love that about the sport because you have to solve it every single time you bowl so besides Penridge bowling that uh, the high school season for my four years right besides that I do bowl competition I do a lot of tournaments and I do a lot of national stuff and since I've been doing that since I was so young, I gained a good national, uh, you know, respect, I guess, level across the, the whole world. So, um, as you can see, I'm not in a Penrose shirt, right? I am wearing, this is my own national competition shirt. I have all of my sponsors on me, and my biggest one is Storm. So I am sponsored by Storm. I'm sponsored by I Am Bowling, which is a shirt company. Bowler X and Bowler Supply, which are two amazing equipment company that you can get your balls drove by. And of course, Vice, which are the inserts in the bowling balls. And I could not be more proud or happy that I was chosen as a youth like bowler to like sponsor these, uh, st these staffs. And I'm like, it's mind blowing, but that's what I got from all these tournaments, all these competitions that I've done. And I mean, I couldn't have been more proud. <laughs> Um, most of these tournaments I do compete in are marathons, not sprints. Um, we compete like national events are like five to ten games a day and that's across a week. So it's five games at 8, 8 a.m. You wake up the next day, 8 a.m., ten games. Next, like it is a marathon when you're, so you have to be in the right mental state first off. And for bowling, I don't know, I just, you really have to build up the endurance, I guess, throughout just keep bowling more in practice. Um, there's really nothing you can do. You just really have to keep practicing because people that just bowl house shots, right? Like just come in and bowl. They're gonna get tired after like one or two games. <laughs> okay. 
But what is next from here, personally me, I will be bowling in college. Um, I will be, I actually signed a while back, um, I signed to Duquesne Bowling and they have offered me a full ride. Yes, you can get full ride for bowling guys, I know. <laughs> but I got a full ride for bowling at Duquesne and they are top 10 in the country and that's what's next for me and I cannot wait to start that. That's the next chapter. <laughs>